name is Emily Ledow and I'm a Rooted in Rights storyteller. This election, disability rights activists are working hard to bring disability issues into the spotlight. Our position is simple. Disability rights are human rights. And since, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, nearly one in five Americans have a disability, we want both campaigns and the public to take notice. And it seems the candidates are taking notice thanks to strong advocacy initiatives like the nonpartisan Crip the Vote, a campaign to bring disability rights issues into the spotlight this election. But the question is, are people recognizing disability as a key election issue in an exploitative way or a substantive way? Take, for example, the issue of Donald Trump mocking the disabled reporter. So now the poor guy, you gotta see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Ah, oh, I don't remember. That incident brought disability some of the most attention that it's received this entire election. And that should be a good thing, right? Well, it wasn't necessarily the kind of attention that disability advocates are hoping to receive. Donald Trump's rebuttal to the issue made out disabled people to be a charity case. His response? Who would do that to the handicapped? I've spent lots of money making buildings accessible. Well, let me tell you, Donald Trump, there's more to disability rights than making buildings accessible. And then there's Grace. This ad features parents of a young girl with spina bifida talking about Donald Trump's mocking behavior and how much it shocked them. The children at, at Grace's school all know never to mock her. And so for an adult to mock someone with a disability is shocking. And sure, it's never okay to mock someone with a disability, but is it okay to use someone with a disability to tug at the heartstrings of voters? And where was the voice of someone who has a disability? Then there's Dante. When I was one year old, I was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer on my spinal cord. But I spent my whole life fighting back. This ad features a disabled person expressing their disgust at Donald Trump mocking people with disabilities. And this is exactly how it should be. A disabled person speaking up for themselves. But again, the problem is, where is the discussion about actual policy issues? And why is disability being used to tug at voters' heartstrings? There's a big difference between using disability to play to voters' emotions and talking about the very real concerns and experiences that people with disabilities face every single day. So it's time for the candidates to go deeper, much deeper. I'm talking about employment opportunities, affordable and accessible housing, healthcare and insurance coverage, social security, inclusive education, the list goes on and on. It's time to recognize, no matter what your political views are, that the disability community, which makes up the world's largest, most diverse minority, and one-fifth of the population of America, has a right to representation in this election. Written and directed by Emily Ledow. For more videos from storytellers like me, visit rootedinrights.org or find us at Rooted in Rights on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and at Rooted in Rights video on YouTube.